expectations. Who's your place to watch the game from Pacific? People are the Jewish, right? Come back. Uh, sure. Come back. Uh, back. Come back. Uh, it was the I, I think, yeah, I think Loiter and LaRock are also pretty legit. Play some sort of late lurk later. So I'm okay. interested to see how it's going to work out as the primary uh -huh. here for Maz. Of course, a bit of a different story with that. Come back looks consistent. We're not going to get that unreal. preview quite yet. <laughs> It will allow those early rotations, though, on defense to come on through if necessary. Well, we've got barriers up, and Mao's pushed up. Up, knocks Raid the boss as well. Contact, and he'll lose it. Stun came from Aluri, so they know exactly where he is. But he's got a way out. And in fact, the cage is put down. Uh, it's Amara Amor. Thank you so much for the two months, the man. Appreciate the tier one. Jack Val as well with the prime. And thank you so much, you two. Appreciate you both. And they have gambled correctly. The A site. No longer wide open. There's plenty of defenders here waiting to catch them as they round the corners. And sure, the first one falls, but how many more can they deal with? How many more do they expect? Another on the back side, but Zuss able to catch one from the side. They now know where both of the Pacific players are. Yeah, just taking these solo engagements, though. And it's just going to be Ooh, a clean, nice in the end. clean up here on the <clears throat> Curious as well. Thank you so much for your prime, man. Have that investment Thank you for the year that and one on month. Of Zus as well here. Interesting Thank start you, to kick things off, though. That immediate information. That Good maps. Lotus Haven Abyss. Oh, Unreal maps. Pacific into that Cypher setup that was leaning over towards that A site. Dude, next year should be pretty fun to watch, man. No icebox. And we get split. Split's a banger. Pearl, it it's been out for so long that it'll be least. fun. Well, the buy here is... You hate Split? Decent. <clears throat> Even to watch, the Split's really good to watch, though. A lot of potential. It's on Zus, so it's looking for the A long angle. There is quite a long angle there, indeed. No Viper, so that's typically going to be what robs you of that control when the attack side's running it. And a nice, easy kill to open Yeah, here we go, man. Welcome to Tier 2, where we wreck everyone with the Outlaw. Dude, every time we scrim against Mouse, Aluri absolutely farms us. Oh, really? Yeah, that guy drops 50. To it as much as 50. <laughs> Without Phil. Okay, maybe 45. Maybe looking to bait out another like, on split, this guy was an absolute breach connoisseur. He was farming those bro. Every flash was sick, every stun was sick, every aftershock was sick. So far here from mm. Mouse. Kind of leaving Pacific. You did a stint of eye gelling, right? Or am I just fully wrong? I think he's that gel on this team. With here. Yeah, see the eye gel of this team? I mean I could be wrong. A couple I'm pretty sure he's that gel. I thought it was Stark, but maybe I'm just fully wrong. And every that shows. Oh, it is him. Removed. Oh, okay, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, he's doing a stint of eye gelling right now. No pistols. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, come back. Let's see if he adds the 45 kills to it. No. Stark's ran out of ammo at an inopportune time. Come back six shots in the magazine and a chance to drop two players on the site moving back there's a player behind him and sus has got the shot off in time still two players lost it will be the weaker weapons that fall by the wayside but still that's reinvestment that has to be made or weaknesses here yeah just doing as much damage as possible nothing is considered but a nice ebb and flow so far I'm curious to see once weapons do come out on board for both these teams an aim train grinder. Oh, okay. Zus does look to continue to grab. The solo Yoru. Yeah, the solo Yoru. Apparently, Heretics. Uh, not Heretics. Apparently, Comeback got the Heretics Classic. Now he's a fan. Probably, probably a fan of you. That's why he's got it. Time around. No one's going to be home though. Instead, it's a heavier lean. You're going to bite on that. You no bite on that. That's crazy. When it comes down to that cipher setup here as well, shifted back over on the left side of the map, where it's more typically expected. None of the shocks. Quite yet. Well, seems like some are hitting now. Vision's going out one bullet at a time. And bodies are dropping every time. That was close, Rose. Oh. Well, doesn't yeah, I'm telling you, the outlaw, um, <clears throat> the outlaw in tier two is next level. That cross, and now Quagged, thank you so much for the 17 months, man. Appreciate the prime. Mouse. Thank you for that. With an iron grip over this round by the looks of things, the spike yeah. still left behind on mound. Busy with the information. He's trying to break his gun by the looks of things. The only question is if Loida can find some value loitering around B, but I'm not seeing that happen anytime soon. 
Cage triggered. Here. I mean, they're giving them a side. They still got a kill trip. No one's gonna kill off the kill trip. Secure this plant on C, but then it should be that blood back in from Mouse, pretty comfortably. Not on land, no, not yet. Here either. Just gonna have to go for some sort of early engagement. It's gonna be Salah looking to push up. Salah's got the angle. There's gonna be plenty of players swinging. Stun, a flash, and just about around the corner. Okay. I don't know how yeah, you're gonna help him out with the smoke here. Yeah. Smoke's good. These players make it around that smoke, and the trade is easy for Alluri. And not bad, man. 23 HP, 14 HP, bonus. Plenty of it to get that defuse done, and three to zero now. The unreal start. I'm not very comfortable. Yeah, no, I'm not entirely sure how this comp looks, looks on the attack with a solo Yoru, but. The health on those last two players, but busy able to get two here. Well, that pick towards Mount shifts the entire round into the favor of mouse and so diligently being able to play those numbers falling back ensuring that they are going to go into this and is as a comfortable 4v2 situation and then for pacific they're going to call that early time i respect the fact that they're getting it out of the way right off the gate maybe even just trying to We're breach and fade it shouldn't be too bad with each other yeah Whether you got the omen as well i guess they can kind of send it also about or even just kind of just bringing everyone back down to earth for a moment. High stake gameplay, of course, with so much on the line. And again, this is a roster that doesn't have quite as much experience realistically. The op on the, the team that Yoru? Yeah, that can be nice. Really just kind of blew Turkey out of the water out of surprise in their ability to be so standout in the second split. Well, a couple of factors online for the side of Mao's that yes, this will be ringing alarm bells during this timeout from the Turkish squad. Three no sticky, but realistically, already, this is right. going to be ulti, right? A lot of shots okay. Outlaw was looking <laughs> it's going to be ulti. And now he's upgraded. To uh, it looks like it's set to you, right? That scope is going to be a big problem. Pacific need to deal like with the earlier call honest, on this one. I didn't think they'd want to deal with it yeah, in this round. Very early. But after the pause, maybe they do something Pacific for the Neon. Full investment. Like win the round. Ult on comeback. Yeah, like the fully, fully bought it, right? So they must be doing something. Not using the sliding accuracy of a vandal. Instead, walking in front of a one way. Just the finger like guns. Zero free timeout, and then yeah, they've, they've got and a plan. They are going like straight this. into the operator, but he can oh, get out of there in immediately. So a free yeah. pick. The return is not there, although traded eventually. It's still favoring Mouse. And then in terms of post plan, they've got Zus to go in, ult in hand, and find everybody. This is a difficult round for the attackers. I'm not sure that ult's even going to be used. They oh. are just pushing in from the side door. With I like this comp the again. The nice one. Able to grab massive oh. value with that 3k and Zus. Sure, last player is like an attack you've got an so uh, you're in. That's certainly not a favorable weapon to take this potential. one with. Decoy online could be used here. Like when you think about it, you don't need, you don't really rely on the Jules that much to create like a ton of space, right? Damn, that is a huge round from this guy. He can guy. get away with like TPs and taking like small map control and then go in second tempo like map control. They don't always have hard fight. Yeah, no wrong. They can do like really close map control on C, like TP into the close box, like clearing close left, fade, so having to take breach a bit done of a in the shit over. On round B, like the TPs aren't bad. See if they can work some sort of pick across the map to pick things off. Same with A as well, like you can probably do like some close TPs to take most of the control you need. Wow. I think there's always like a reposition of when people aren't used to a Yoru kill. as well, man. It, it's still hard to play so against. Yeah, dude, and like on defence, the, the rotations are so oh, right. like bullshit. Look at this, he's going A as well. You get a pick on C, and my guy's just going to be on A. It, it doesn't matter about like the fake pressure when you play against a Yoru. There's pretty much three or two on the site. Yeah. In trouble. Oh, yeah. He may be in trouble now. Okay, he's just no scope from this on the Fizzy's on top as well, supporting the play, waiting for them to. No, oh boy! Day. Unfortunately, there's a little, little bit of a whiff has occurred. Point is on 15 exactly HP at least, right. and the oh. flank play by Stark. Nice try with the ult, but they're ready for that. That kind of puts a pin into this round here as well, right? Sure. Man, it's looking so good for this round. Right, you're gonna look to try. Yeah. And maybe get some exit One frags. Try and get a pick or two, or even get picked off to try and 
guarantee that these I think he doesn't use the URL here though, right? Into the next nah, kill. no chance. Mean offers us, that operator Maybe if he gets one kill, I don't know. Going forward. Don't push the smoke, don't push the Please. smoke! With the Why? Yeah, that's kind of wild. I understand. I, 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 I think it's not too bad. We had someone like... there close to pick it up if he doesn't get a pick. You know, I, I, honestly, I all I'm saying is I'm making that play I'm too. Repeating, like, no, stop, no, stop. Yeah. For us, like, like, please stop yeah, probably pushing. dying also. But... He, he <laughs> water. Uh, Amor and Rick, thank you so much, bro. I would have jumped around the corner trying to Thank you so much for the six months, man. He pushes the smoke. Uh, but again, Between initiator and controller, who do you think is best to have an op on a, on attack? Some, some guy on, Reddit, well, uh, on attack, I like an open op to be honest. But like, if you actually think of positioning, like the normally like a he didn't. um, well, I'll say that was lucky in my opinion. Like an initiate is pretty good for it as well. <laughs> Look, it gets shot back into his. But I, I would say so controller. Man. I'll take that. Fair. Whoa. They risk not having an operator, which is a bold play. They really did. And now they also just, they don't get that extra ult orb that goes what? into that rolling thunder for this round either. I guess you feeling comfortable with the <laughs> nightfall at the very least was online here. I'm going to try and bait out some of this utility. Um, that was nice though. Under Fury active. Fired through, Laroc able to grab the double. Good control over Mound now as well. In the back of that, it seems like... Lloyd has been able to sneak Ooh. his way in with the ultimate under the cover of the Hunter's Fury. And the C site completely secure. It's like two back to back rounds, or so they're pretty good for mouse, and then everything goes wrong. To the next round. Yeah, and just like the spun eye, on the. Over. the like a coin flip, it's just gone. And I think yeah. the answer is no. The question is do Pacific, as they realize mm. no one's going for this. The breach off should be pretty weapons. good here, man. If anyone's going to do it, you rate Aluri really high, I rate this little rock kid. The breach off, yeah. It would yeah. be Rose, yeah. but Rose is also the one that doesn't have the money to spare. Realistically, the rest of the team can still buy him, of course. But well, hunting not really worthwhile now after you've already lost one. Ultimately. They're a clear favorite this event. The value I think go next the is the favorite, but Granted, in terms of clear favorite, no. a bit of an awkward buy on the side of Mouse. They're trying to... Pacific might be as well, and especially if they win this like relatively convincing. Aggressive push over towards Mound there as well. But the clapback from Lorak completely shifts that engagement. Three rounds of success that Pacific were able to find off the back of their own timeout as well. Now forcing Mouse to call one of their own. Yes, they are. It's Mao's that have to sit back and discuss how they want to navigate this one. Zus, well, he had a good start, and he's continued in that form. Seven and three at the moment. Since There's that no real clear out, favorite. <clears throat> it seems it seems like a really open event. Pacific have been able to avoid it majority of the way. And trade out the damage that it gets done if they don't. Rolling Thunder went away for a Lurie as well. But it's a really big round for Mao's. A chance to disrupt... Pacific's win streak. The problem is because of a couple of relatively clean rounds, that economy is going to be pretty healthy for a while. The attackers have bought themselves a, a good buffer. The same is definitely not to be said for Mouse. I mean, even just take a look at your screen right now. That the other two players can't buy. Nobody can drop for them. So it's going to be a lot of weaknesses. Yeah. The ults might just make up for that lost value. Are they gonna here? At first, I thought they were maybe opting. I mean, they got a lot of ults. They, they can, through, they can do as anything. Sort of variation on that, assuming that they can talk and do anything they wanted on this defense. They go aggro with the op. We got a TP that's going to go over towards spawn for fast rotate to be your A. Speed this time around, though, with the approach towards rubble here for this side. Here's the YouTube title. Oh, you're right. I like this from position. Let me let me do it off this round, Lexi. Thank you. It's fast. Oh. Some sort of trap play at the moment. Dude, what's the contact of the strap? Bro? As soon as he opened the door, is he just gonna? Yeah, I guess. It? I guess open the door, but. Uh, Pacific, they've so gonna, are they gonna use to the Fatal as well? Found themselves the kill on think... us. Nah, I think he just holds the space. angle, right? Stark goes in to recover the Not anymore, at least. So that's still kicking. Because they'd fade out. Finding opportunities now to use it will be limited. Come back. And then just well, swing. That was your chance. 
Stark came down out of heaven. Wait, where is he just put and just guy? met the one tap of a side. now with those picks. That feels like a ridiculous shot, by the way. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm surprised if they commit to an A site hit. Shot him through the wall. Question is, how much trouble can these that was a pre players cause? <laughs> hey, it might have been. Nice to see that one back. I think we will. Unless I mean, it's gone forever. This is still a really hard run for Pacific to win, though, well, when they're stuck in a tree like this. Information. Nah, nah, nah. Watch, watch the rock, man. Oh, fizzy, bro. Can't punish players on A site because there's none left. Only taking down the one as the spike is planted elsewhere. Pacific by themselves. A second wind. Rose as well. Nasty little play towards Rubble. Sitting there waiting. LaRock repositions towards the broken door, ready to pounce. As soon as Rose gets contact, another Prowler confirms that he's still there. And LaRock, oh, he has Ooh, an little the overstep. On the same angle, eventually Rose gets the reward. Now hightailing it to the site. Stun goes through. That should be a Lurie, at least getting it to half. But is he ready for Rose to be this close? It doesn't look like it. <gasps> Oh my god, it was close, man. It only just hit him. Holy, that was that scary, man. The Big round for him. There was right down to the wire for both of those players as I well. like that he got off the spike and just went for it though. He's going to catch the other out first. But what a way to recover the round there for Mao Pacific. Just a bit right, it was so close to going wrong, yeah. Clear out towards tree, finding so much value in heaven here for Fizzy as well. What a way to bring this round back. We have to consider the fact that it was down to, what was it, a 3v4, 3v5 in favor of Pacific? No, uh, like they didn't shoot in, the recon. Huh? And they, they did the recon above where you have to commit, so he can't shoot it from there anyway. He has to pretty much go out to mount to shoot it. Zuss, Great shot. Salasun, able to find one. Aluri on the trade. Taking Obnox down seemed to be a good start. But Pacific still seeking out control. The seaside is their new target. Very passive trap wires. Just to catch them on the very deep push. One player spotted. Hey, how did he even get this revealed, kill? And it's the op that trades out on the other angle. That's such a nice Ooh. setup as well. Works perfectly. It might work against favor. him here. And another hero play is required. It's Rose tucked up close with LaRock on the off, managing to find the first each. Now it's equalized. Now it's doable. Ultimate use. Damn, you just got in there. And now LaRock just got in there with the ult. Now what? From another dimension, it's Stark landing both shots. And these, um, and these retakes pretty well. But yeah, these are nice retakes. Five. Especially with the Euro off, man. It's usually pretty hard to retake the not, being a big game changer there as well, coming out just in the nick of time. It looked like Pacific were starting to shift this round in their favor, but they just pick up the second up as well? Do you want for a double up? Yeah, I think so. Interesting. Maybe they post one on C and one on A then? Against the Eco. Stuck on the back of the force. He's busy, he's gonna post one on C and then they're gonna have... Forced into a half by situation. This could definitely backfire. I'm a little bit seeing this double up come out here from the side of the... It could, yeah. Dude, I feel like, uh... Loyer could just wing a sword. in one pop with the Guardian. This actually pans out. I feel like the utility from Lorak has been so good at pushing the ops off these angles. Well, well there we go. It's a, it's a rare bless, That's man. A Respect. Interpretation than utility there. You can stick around just for a bit longer. In, tap him in the head. Love that. That was crazy. I've seen that happen too much to Benji. Out of the round, Mentally scarred. Yeah, it, that does actually happen I mean, so much. It's been seized. It's been taken. As we're going to have to fight just to get it back. Prowler blocked the vision there. That could have been a fight, and I think it would have went comeback's way with a lurry down. Might not matter. Mao's so overall, that's done. It looks like they're still setting their sights on C. C still wanting to commit to this. Oh. Oh. Of course, of course they're committing to it. This is a very favorable position. You have to serve her. Just tapping people people in the head, but now Stark and himself both extremely low. Easy kills. Hunter's fury not even needed, to be honest. The stinger would be enough. Damn, they did pretty good damage, With though. one player low, and the other being forced out of position, tagged up by the Hunter's fury. It might just be time to get out of here. Stark wants to make it costly, and he'll succeed <laughs> in his quest. He gets out if he TPs. Right? Nah, he's good. Able to get it out. An attempt at that retake, but 
great round coming out from Pacific, especially when the buy was awkward for them. And it's Again, so risky, the, 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 the op on the cipher. Pointed out right at the beginning, forcing those two ops in uh, hand. It's just so, I, I love it on attack, but on, on defense, like the Sentinel having it. Uh, unless it's a kill joint, I kind of like the kill joint to an extent. If you're playing like passive, yeah. that, the aggro like off the angles. Off yeah, yeah, off the turret. Meant early, sorry, yeah. I meant that. C was an easy take there for Pacific now. Especially if you're Cypher and you get pushed off and you can't really play up your trips oh, anymore. It's like, uh, it, it's just done. Oh, the ult has definitely gathered a little bit of information for Lloyd. Not too helpful. Reaching towards. Well, okay. Uh, I don't know how that's happened. Zus is just being yeah, tapped it's down. On top of the angles. Aware, blindsided by the play. Pacific have control of the site and the man advantage to work with now. Information as well. Well, okay, oh. that's one way to handle it. Fizzy just guesses and he guesses right. Yeah, but the, the smoke was leaking in. out too much. One more flash left here for Aluri on the retake. Aftershock 2 to zone. They've smoked up top. As they're blocking the angle. Still wanting to commit to this for sure. Paranoia goes down. Door goes wide open. The cage is blocking for now. Still a safe haven to play from with Stark drop. This one's gone from bad to worse. Now's had no foothold over that site and the man advantage as well. They proved to be all the Pacific. Just trying to think of how many mouse need for attack. Scoreline to tie it up five to five. I don't think it's going to be great, man. Such back and forth. I think they need seven, but maybe I'm just fully wrong. Again, a lot of these fights get pretty scrappy. Here Five on attack well. is decent. Yeah, but they got such a weird such comp. Good reads from both sides too. I'm actually surprised that that trip managed to stay up. For I feel like we saw two prowlers go into it, did we not? The outlaw. Here we go, man. This guy's gonna farm up some kills. We got one, two, three. Everyone, all five. Looking to scale faster up towards this A site, but that presence towards C was meant to funnel them into Fizzy's setup. The doors swinging open, and the drone clearing out tree. Sight player spotted on the fall back. Is he still up top? And Opnox here to help reveal available, but Pacific are moving elsewhere. All that you tell oh, that stun is incredible. A simple B hit. Still, the lurry close by. Only flash is incredible. Three. Still two flashes. Stark just outside on Beacon. Seacon. This could be a crunch for Mouse any moment, and the sniper up close takes the baby. <laughs> Yes, oh my god, a double kill for that one. Just done. <laughs> oh my god, he's shotgun out one now. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling tell you, man, this guy farms with the outlaw. I'm sure we're getting a replay. Like he gets a lot of ecos from it, dude. He just cleans them all up. Down pat. Maybe this is why you guys. Maybe this is what you guys need to do. Get eco less. What? Just buy outlaw. Outlaw. That's disgusting. We did have it for a bit, like. uh it is with like Reigns would get uh, the outlaw. Yeah, yeah. But then he kept but, getting one yeah, tap. No so he just said, like, I'm never mind outlaw again. Fuck that. He's only got one button on his mouse. Uh, yeah, really <laughs> let's someone else have a go. For Pacific, the yeah. attack side has earned that previous round. Let's put it that way. And it looks like Comeback is feeling exhilarated. The shade, no, no, they were talking about getting eco a lot. It had, it had, uh, it had context. It, it wasn't just a random just flame, like I promise. Didn't like <laughs> just randomly be like, hey, you guys get eco a lot. Hey, he made it out. A ton of utility at the very least. Is he able to reposition towards heaven? A little bit of yeah, I, Look at this luck, man. Breach luck. Pick, though, the neural theft will be up and available. This positioning from Lorok is massive, though. The timing is everything. Oh my god, he could get so many. Well, you gotta hold sight a little bit further back and make sure that he can play next. No oh, way. Oh man, every single He'll time, every single time. I don't learn. I never learn. He got none. No one got any kills. They barely got they barely got any damage off them. Tied up at the half here. Don't you think these teams like um, misplay when they have a lurker a lot? Now that we they yeah. don't have like a keyword. Maybe they don't have keywords, but they might also just be inexperienced. I think that's something we taught our guys a lot. Like if you think, it also comes from someone that Weber preaches all the time. Like, because he used to lurk a lot in CS, you know, and I feel like 
as we head into the next. A lot of it applies. Still the same way that like if you think you have a timing, you don't. Like, just wait a bit more, you know? Because they're probably expecting you to come when you think you've got the timing. So it's yeah, like, you just wait yeah. even longer. Like, wait more than what you think. Like, if you think you have a good timing, you probably don't have one yet. Yeah, I, I think that's a good rule. But I, I feel like a lot of times when I watch these, it's the other it's the other players on site that misplay. Yeah, I'm doing yeah. it now, thank you. Yeah, it could be that as well. Like, the other players aren't aware of, like, how good a timing they have. Like, we've got quite a few keywords for it. Like, if someone's got, like, an incredible flank, we'll say, like, checkmate, you know? So, like, we're behind them. Okay, yeah, you know, so I like, like that one. Stuff like that. House. It's time okay. to kick Change off the chat. Thank you, thank you. The second half about to go underway, and it's neck and neck as we left you. Pacific. Well. They managed to find a streak of three twice. And if you're following me, that makes six. Um, okay, we'll try and keep a... Oh my god, you can count? Pistol score. Wait, what? I had that one written I down. I don't know what <laughs> That was just random <laughs> shade, dude. What the hell? I can okay. read just about. We're doing our best out here, right? Yeah, listen. EMEA education ain't what it used to be. Oh, big flash. Big swing. And it's Whoa, it ahead. was a big Hit flash. The they four-person tanked it. Versus four. Yeah, that was awesome. I don't know how this one's gonna... Double pistol. ...gonna pan out and sell this one's favorite. It'll take a lot of mistakes from Mouse for him to be able to rip this round back. And we're gonna this could be cool, because I was thinking without a pistol, they might struggle... Much damage as they they like, can. I, mean, I, I still think they're going to struggle on attack, but but maybe the overwhelm is just crazy with the fade breach. Yeah, no easy way out of this one. I mean, bre fade breach omen yoru flash. It, it is pretty hard to play sides round. against this. Salasun out of the round and Maus in the lead. Seven to six, decent score line. We've had it neck and neck so far. I'm expecting that Pacific won't fall too far behind, regardless of how we go. And this map certainly said to yeah, they needed they needed like a, a insta level. stun back then as soon as they all got flashed. But got a game in our hands now, I think. Especially when yeah, I, I was saying that as well. Even though it's double pistol, I think they needed it. Different approaches. Yeah, the specific we're looking kind of clean. I'm intrigued to see what they do with Yoru though. I, I do yeah, think there's ways around only single duelist. Neon. Quite different with tempo. Like single or solo, uh, your yeah. I don't think it's that bad. In my head, it. I'll say that Mal's yes. done. I've, it, this is a hard comp to get back a control. I don't know. I just think the whole of attacking me out. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they got some six stuff. Uh, a squad that again defeated Mal. The thing so, is, they can take like really good first base with well, like and the KC TP and stuff. Uh, I think Pacific the wins, you know. Yeah, on the like back here, they can come out here all the time. With coming into this defensive side in the last two months, we haven't seen an official uh, where they play more than they two defensive go. rounds. So that's so you, you guys use solo solo your for a bit bind, right? Yeah, I'm bind. But you guys only I had it down right when I was the watching you guys. I think right, the you pretty much only went B when you had ults. Well. Is that like we'll majority of the time what you do? Taking. It like depends. On it would depend on like the map control we had, but we had like quite good set runs with ults towards B. So, yeah. Did you did you find it weak like without ults or like hard? Yeah. yeah, I think unless you don't have you, like hooker with Yoru is not the best, right? Like you can't really put any yeah. PPs out from hooker unless you're out there and you, unless you jump out and launch it into the site, which by that time it's bait as fuck. We also made like some executes that we just didn't show. That's really just a shooting gallery, unless there's a player hiding in the corner with a right click. It was difficult. Ready. That's why. That's why I think this map's different, though, right? Like, you can this execute on almost every bomb site with Yoru. Like. Yeah. I mean, over you towards B, it's pretty strong. Them. Like the the TP into the corner, that's really strong. Yeah. 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 So far, though, B, around. corner of C where you omen TP, that's strong. E even the corner back off, you could maybe get on down there. 
Ground. Yeah, exactly. The, rifle, most the front box and stuff is good. To be able to bring you could definitely do some cool shit like towards waterfall, I think, with your. Oh, they pinged up. Yeah. I guess that he's here. But it's some only cool sea splits for me. The risk of losing rifles not worth wild, so it's the pistol mm -hmm. and fizzy that that go out looking to try to land this information. There he is, spotted, and he's going back in the other direction. Chance for fizzy, maybe no. He'll be dropped as well. But the key thing is the other two players don't hunt because they don't want to lose a rifle up against a vandal, of course, uh, and wreck their buy for the next round. Good damage at the end of the day by Selasun. Yeah, and keeps the gun. Realistically, though, with a FPX style buy coming out on the side of Mouse, anyways, they will still be able to bolster into this very comfortably for the bonus. Just having to sacrifice some of those shields to oh, bring these yeah, we got a lot of light armors. I have no idea they're going for this though. Get to work with here for us off the back of that round as well. Okay, now we get to see it. First big buy round. Again, the overwhelm Presence over towards made, one site is crazy strong. Pacific rotating quite quickly. Jesus. Three players already on C. Damn, that helps. It's us clearing it out. One, two, three. That's a big spot. It's a lot to cancel. The spike should be sent in a different direction now. It looks like door open. A bit of pressure from Zuss. Yeah, they cancel. The Ooh, and nice. They cancel pivot B. Wait, this is cool. This is really cool. Still causing problems and dropping cells. This is a great call, cool, man. This is a great, great call. Cool. Oh. Whoa. Seam. Oh, that's something from nothing. With Zuss is the last one. The defuse already tapped. He's drawn in. Oh, Lee, though. They nearly made that one doable. Um, this was sick from Mouse, though. I, I love this mid round. This is a great call. Cool. That, that was pretty impressive from Mouse. The, the mid round. Zuss went massive in that round, but it's insane that yeah, Rose was, was able to find so much value. So that paranoia go through, able to get one and then a second there as well. Add, add another TP as well after. It was sick from the Yori as well. To even start things off. Double pistol, double bonus. Yeah, they should be winning this map, no doubt. Could have been anyone's round, depending on that one last fight. Now Pacific. Stuck on pistols. Still pushing the issue towards a main though. The dark comes through, clears <laughs> Bro, what is this height command? Command. Hi, microwaved rice and chicken tool. What the hell? Lexi, is that you? Who's responsible for this? Honestly, let's keep it. They need a rotation. Hi, shrinking with age. <laughs> That's sick. You lot of savages, man. Jesus. And gate crash. Sent out by Zus. I wasn't sure. I thought he was going to go for a fake, but now you see them get up nice and close. The side of Mouse to the C site. So I guess a late lurk by Zus instead. I mean, the stun is going to get absolutely everyone. Don't do it, guys. Go Don't go in. To be to walk in for free. There, there is no one here. There's no traps. Just a camera watching for oh, it. Not bad. And I think door. he's starting to feel that Ooh, out that the, there is just no presence. Nobody's spotting him. But in the end, the door is open for the seaside hit. They're running right into the stack. Omen flash. Oh, it's going to be a disaster. Loiter omen flash. The reveal. Omen flash. It won't even get them the information. They think there's just one there. Wait. They're about to find out the hard way just how wrong that is. Loiter grabbing a single. Jesus mayhem. With Rose's oh Fury. my god. They've got everything they that was need nuts. to take this one across the line. I can't oh, hate on Master Dog. From Pacific Mouse. Overcooking those rotations just a little bit in the gamble. That guess, that read was so good out of Pacific. Playing those numbers, allowing them to walk in back site. The line that Rose was able to have from right, the Cypher did well. so much here. Hunter's Fury down was massive. Uh, Orange Hood, thank you for the 10 months, man. Thank you, thank you for the Prime. There. Can anyone explain what just happened there? I mean, it, it's a five person guys. stack and they didn't go around the map and pressure him enough. Hello? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spray's good. Spray is great, in fact. Lloyd able to reset for the second kill. Now looking for a little bit more. There's no need. The smokes are up and Mao's are out moving to the other side of the map. It looks like the B site is going to be the new target. Oh no, they got an eco after this one and that's what went down. Space. I love that shifting gear though from Pacific. 
first very aggressive look that we've really seen fighting for that mound control, just looking to catch Mouse off guard. I'm having to take a pause, see if Pacific will play into their hand at any point. So What'd you far. even do here? Yeah. All to go B. We have camera, higher, lower setup. Oh, okay, wait. All to have a lark smoke, like you're trying to get back towards A, but then hit C. Way better. Straight into the cypher setup here on C. Problem is, the sofa's just completely disrespected the smoke. Not that the smoke does too much yeah, anyway. Yeah, is sat waiting for them. The first trap will be spotted. The second a little more obscure, but also heard. Yeah, we got a breach done for this. Only the Breach done goes in. It's concrete information. 14 seconds denying the spike all that's needed to be done. And that's exactly what comeback's gotten. The walk of seven seconds left. He's buying time. I think he's bought enough. It's not. Oh, he's got it. Very close. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. It was 0.5 across. No, he's got it. He's actually managed to plant it. I swear to God, that was down to the millisecond. I'm going to have to watch that one back. Oh, oh he didn't. Wait, okay. no. I was right. The HUD confused me for a second. Oh. Okay, because I thought I saw it on 3.9 <laughs> when he, when he oh, oh, okay. uh, pressed 4 to start the plan. That it does, like, it was like a jump scare. So, I was so, so sure he had it. I was on the same page with that one. I was like, he doesn't have it. And then I was like, he has it? <laughs> yeah, that was very confusing. But yeah, it, it, it must have been like 0. 0.1, 0. 0.1. I do. That was crazy like that, confusing. Just... Barely buying enough time. Comeback did a phenomenal job. I didn't see the scoreline change. Yeah, I didn't see the scoreline change either. Oh, shut down right off I, I was just double checking the top to see if um, Mike was there. Or if we had like the 0 0.6 or whatever it is. Do more teams have been doing this? And I feel like this angle is just crazy strong, man. It's the defensive side that end up seeing clearly in the end. Now three players are now gone. I have retrieved the spike. With the spike recovered, might just want to take this somewhere else. Zos is sticking around though. He still wants some damage, and well, he's gotten it. Fortunately, it's dealt to him. Last man standing's been seen moving elsewhere towards the seaside. He goes, and a plant should await him there. Oh, no. <laughs> well, actually, now he's been slowed down. They're very close. Do I still get the, the credits for the 0-3 overtime yeah. calls again? Okay. Nice connection by Fizzy. He's I mean, if we, if we get there, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Picking that. up the operator, 40 seconds left. I, I this think might be too much for Fizzy, right? HP. I think, yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh. You want to save that I think if he goes A, he's got a chance. Time, you've got a real chance he may not rotate, right? 30 seconds left. I don't know if he necessarily... He, dude, he still has two trips as well. If he gets on site, gets a couple of trips done. Picks off one with the op. He actually has a really good chance. It's like the best in my poll. Okay, I don't like that he got rid of the op, I'm not going. He's got one trip down. Yeah, true. But then again, if he gets stunned, then you add off. Yeah. I think if he goes aggressive, they expect it to Yeah. Especially when that fault line is still up and ready. He could be legit anywhere, though. Yeah. Well, now they've seen him as well. He still has a good amount of time. Oh, calm on the bottom, like that. Is he's got a tough situation brewing. This is winnable, no? Oh, it's super winnable. Out, yeah. Needs to be able to dispatch two the trips and then... quickly. No cages to cover this one off. Nice up. off angle by Fizzy. Oh, his body got it. Kill. And the cam even reveals the other player, knowing exactly where he is, knowing the defuse is not underway with the spams coming in. Just 40 HP. Oh my man. God, that was sick. He did really well. Fizzy makes it work. A massive clutch round. That was very well put. Cam on the spike is crazy strong. Yeah, I think it's, it's so that sick. should not have happened. It's so, so good. Earning double digits here for Moe's as well. And it was so scrappy, so chaotic for that fight over towards Rubble. Because he played it perfectly. They kind of, um, they kind of, of the just reasons. in this map. Right, so double pistol, double bonus. The They're getting yeah, like I mean, a lot of big play three, rounds. Yeah, one v three. Got the taste of playing on it. This is the kind of game that like, if you lose this and you're Pacific, now, you'd feel hard on by. Yeah, same, yeah. Double digits found for in the buy rounds, it does feel like they're. Four yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Don't know. That's a curveball. Taken down immediately. The flank from Pacific Ult exactly already right faded for comeback. Three rifles to work with, but they're about to be known. How many ults do they use? 
Dude, they're not even gonna use that many ults, right? Fade ult, that's it. Well, I got two, and the only guy that wasn't caught was killed. So that's all the information in the hands of They're in a really good spot, man. To work with, and there's no way for Pacific to get back into this one. It is 11 rounds for Mouse. 11 to 8. Many chances to close out this map. And the best part, Ash, is that Haven up next is their map pick. I'm out of here. It's a terrifying prospect here for Pacific. Especially with how rough their money situation is looking. This hero rifle. Is that the best agent so for the situation? The um here for the team. The, the cipher one? Yeah, I mean for sure. Especially when you had the trips. Quickly Mouse adjusted here as well. The information um, comes damn, in. bro. All the players are coming from the flank. What a super chat. Ten dollars. Thank you so much for that, dude. Site. Appreciate that in the YouTube chat. Thank you, thank you. Who TF need a name? Spawn. Thank you so much, man. Thank I you for like doing that, dude. Now to time out to be called here at Pacific using their last one of regulation. Two away from the rolling thunder. We haven't really seen them put too much priority on fighting for any of that orb control. Both orbs on this super S O O for the attackers. <laughs> Honestly, to yeah, it does sound a bit like that. Themselves. Meanwhile, for Maz, I feel like they have every weapon. Um, who? Thank you so much again, man. Possibly need you doing that? Look towards that rolling thunder. You look towards the dimensional drift that. Do so you hear soup? I mean, kind of. Dude, they love soup rounds. out here, man. Everyone eats Yo, soup so much. I'm just not a soup kind down. of person. It's not bad, but I just wouldn't choose to eat. Well, the last time out for Pacific, if they don't get their show in order, I don't think we'll see another timeout. Mouse looking to just run away with this one. Credits down. I'm just not a food kind of person. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much what it is as well. This seems a lot of hassle for what it is, I guess is what I'm saying. Like, I would never go and, and like, make one. Salison, the SMG. Spectre. Main thing is though, Maus are 11 to 8 in the lead. Three ultimates, two big ones. Rolling Thunder for entry on the attack side. That is so, pardon me, so valuable. And then Dimensional Drift as well. Same can be said. You should never be surprised by my food takes, man. Respect to be paid to the one way is controlling. Release here on C forcing Salasun to play towards backside, just not having the information on if anyone had crossed over. So you look at the other side of the map, they've got Insta the deep all the drone as well. Out, busy as I well. mean, these guys are gonna Man, break the trip. Trip. that means that you got to send it over towards him. You're just playing full retake, one kill trip. Uh, well, and they, I mean, this is what moment. they did earlier with the uh, or it's just the fact that they pivoted towards us. B. He's going for it, he's committing. He's fully committing. Hey, that was nice with the breach stun. Okay, that was absolute madness, Siggy, but... It wasn't too I crazy. Like it. I, it was fine, like... I absolutely shot myself because I was seeing the breach stun, you know? Yeah, okay, yeah. A, a little TP out... Like, a backup TP out of there? Yeah, it would have been perfect. I think pushing forward was a bit crazy. Especially once you call in, like... He's on me, like, there's only certain places you can be in heaven there. Yeah, they get such early info these heaven before he's even committed. I like the protocol yeah. that was being called by Rose there, IGL on the I would say that of, this Rose like, guy is that IGL bails them out of a lot of rounds. Uh, he's that very impactful. impactful. Like his sub bullets were good as well. Mm. Look for that information on Rubble to make it that much easier to get the read down pat. This time looking to contest a, a late crunch here as well. Those guys. Whoa! Wait! Whoa. How, how did it work? Oh my god! Oh my god! For this squad, rolling thunder back in return. Comebacks getting ahead of it, wanting to fight in the space that he knows they're gonna try to take back. Lunatic! Absolute lunatic! Flash for the swing. It's a little late, and it catches them off guard. He's only good for the one though. And the defensive side will struggle. Oh, what a, a crazy round this one is! Can go wherever they so wish, and the ult used towards the A site. Salasun, he's got ears on him. He's heard that one, and there's a second player close by. They might just want to swing this and punish Stark for playing so close. I know exactly where he is, and that's a that gorgeous cool. bait from this squad. Now it seems they like had the stun to make sure there's no swing after. Clawing their way back into this one. The door could be wide open. Fizzy could. This crossfire is hard to deal with, though. Yeah, I was looking at. 
Obnox trying his best to stop that from becoming a reality. Uh, and it's it's just two, like, annoying, like, one Rock, angles. Yeah. One yeah. One and, and just anyone can just swing you at one point. Yeah. You're already committed to looking somewhere else. Nat fades out the 1v1, sticking to halfway, waiting for the fight to come through, knowing... This is so good at this, though. ...play this and give him the chance to rip his head clean no. just as he oh, did. Oh, that's huge. Time on his side, Luroc has got it done. Shit. Shit. Pacific one <laughs> to one. It's going for him. Such a cold stick to half there from Laura. Uh, the, well. the stick to half was very bold. Especially with the jiggle and then just uh what is jump peek to see and then jiggle to confirm it. I mean this was mental as well, to be fair to it. I felt like there was no util to follow that, or the timing was off or I missed something, or there was a dodge of the stun that I missed. That was unnecessary. A little bit emotionally damaging, but it happens to the best of us. Shut up and let me work. But the recovery here in this 1v2 is what was truly insane about this round. Rock, being a supporting character throughout this entire matchup, just consistently setting up comeback. Being able to have his star moment himself. Well, I said Pacific wouldn't get a chance to call another timeout. That's for sure, but Mao's have done it for them. Feeling the heat, feeling the pressure as they now sit just one round ahead. Tanking the fine now. There'd be no fine to. Away. I mean, honestly, I don't think anyone's ever been fined for mm -hmm. teabagging anyway. They, they just get. To work with either. No. I mean, they just yeah, get told not to, and then everyone just does it still. Saying towards the end of the last round that Pacific had a chance winning that round to fight right back into things, open the door back on the map, and that's exactly what they've done. Like you said, the money is low for Mouse and. Honest, I was kind of going to say that JD, I but I didn't want to. Go for an eco. I, I, expect them to I was tempted like to say that. Yeah. Stingers and then fight him for the next. So they've got a, a decent, a good amount of economy built up. But they've gone for it here and now. And this also makes it's sense. It's still like nice to C take that they do. Like if the Prowler hits, then you flash through. And then like it, OT. What they do here, you can't really play aggro C. I'd rather let my opponent have 11, I feel like. But. I mean, to each their own for what you want to try and fight more aggressively. Unless you, unless you go close and get in the smoke and have someone to spam the thing, but actually that's a lie. You could, you could do something. You'd have to be prepped for it. There's a pause this time. For Who's my favorite to watch in EMA Ascension? At the moment, it, it is this team. They're my favorites at the moment to watch, but I haven't watched enough of them. The spike tucks out of the door there, though. The rotation comes through. Such an aggressive position from Lloyd up. I'm going to pivot back over towards this B site. There's not many awaiting them I, from an angle that I expected them to fight. A good from, recon to re-clear this. I still like how Mouse are calling when they go over towards C. The pressure B to make sure they manipulate rotates is great. The Rock's already used his flash. Looking for the fight around on the breach, and he'll get it. At least for the first one, the swing out from Zusto is good. And Next jewel is everything, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. And now, well, there's no way for him to come back into a safe position. It's all about Lloyd. 1v2 after this line, is Siggy. This is it. And both players tagged. This is doable. This is doable. He's heard the oh, reload down that? below. Ready for the swing, but it's both players. A firing squad. Oh my god, scary. The shots through the wall don't land. They don't find their mark. Mouse will run this clock further down. Seven bullets. Three now. The reload needed for Loida. <laughs> Spectre? Hey, what the hell? Well, the round score. One up. Two chances to end it. To Money. Point under their oh belt. boy. Incredibly well played. Wait, they, they got a really low way. Well. Moving like a unit there, not allowing to, them to get split up and to allow Lloyd to, to isolate that 1v1 situation. A worthwhile force. They got Neon Ult though. It's a big gamble. Neon Ult, Stinger, double off. rifle. Now, Why is the pass with Neon Ult got a rifle? Back foot, not able to pull out. A full buy quite yet a broken economy that Mao's were looking for. There's a mistake here, right? That last round snowballing up into a couple ultimates here as well. What? I'm actually surprised Comeback didn't toss that vandal over to somebody else when he has the overdrive up. My shots uh sin goes comeback. Well oh, and he's done it with your rifle, man. But there goes the rifle. You got a classic. Up close. On your own. Classic up in the smoke. He absolutely <laughs> sent it with his rifle. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna manage to retrieve it, but that could have been disastrous. Two chances to close this out. 
with the credits invested into this one <laughs> dude imagine being this guy and just seeing your neon with your gun just absolutely sending it oh boy yeah nicely done man fizzy's been great the fact that they have neural theft as a result they can walk into this c site they've seen cypher close but that won't make much of a difference it's free the plant cannot be messed with the weapons on the retake are weak it might help out against op nox and fizzy maybe even a lurry if it's a close range fight but getting that will be the problem a firing squad of mouse grouped up ganged up oh. ready to take the fights and the trades they're pretty they good with a singer it's only the rock remaining he lands the first nicely done nope that's not an upgrade <laughs> the skin can be confusing yeah, it can keep happening oh he's close Hey, nicely done from Mouse. Double pistol into this one, though. That definitely helped him out big time. But uh, I feel like Fizzy for sure was really important. Great adjustments coming out from them. Decent game, to be honest. Yeah, it was decent.